Welcome back to CircuitSphere. In this video, I'll be comparing four SSD drives. Two from the budget end, one mid-range option, and one higher-priced SSD from a reputable brand. The goal? To answer the big question. Does spending more really mean better quality? Hang around until the end where I'll share my final thoughts and let you know which SSD might be the best choice for you. And if you're interested in any of these drives, check out the Amazon links in the description below. If you're new to CircuitSphere, I explore all kinds of tech, new, old, and everything in between. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell. And if you really want to support the channel, consider choosing one of my three membership options by clicking the link in the description below. First, let's go over the SSDs featured in this video. Starting with the most expensive drive in our test, we have the Samsung Evo 860, priced at $85.76 at the time of testing. Samsung states it has up to 550 megabits per second read speeds and up to 520 megabits per second write speeds. This drive has a five-year warranty and an impressive reliability rating of 1.5 million hours mean time between failures. Mean time between failures or MTBF measures how long an SSD is likely to operate before failing, a helpful reliability metric for users. Additionally, I've noted each brand's years in business, as I believe a brand's longevity adds credibility to its marketing claims and to how secure you can feel relying on its warranty. Samsung, established in 1938, has been in business for 86 years and is a leader in storage among other industries. I have full confidence in their warranties and product claims. Next up is the Crucial MX500, priced at $44.99 during testing. Crucial reports up to 560 megabits per second read speeds and 510 megabits per second write speeds. Like Samsung, Crucial offers a five-year warranty and this drive has a reliability rating of 1.8 million hours mean time to failure. Unlike mean time before failure, mean time to failure provides a straightforward estimate of the time until the first potential failure, which can simplify reliability expectations for consumers. Crucial has been in business since 1996, for 28 years. And based on their track record, I'm confident they stand by their warranties and product claims. The next SSD is the Feng Shang S101, priced at $21.99. Feng Shang claims it has read speeds of up to 550 megabits per second and write speeds of up to 500 megabits per second. This drive also comes with a five-year warranty, though the company does not disclose specific reliability metrics. According to the Amazon listing, Feng Shang has been in business since 2015, making it a nine-year-old company. Given the limited information available about Feng Shang, I recommend buying it through a third-party platform like Amazon to ensure some buyer protection. Due to the lack of reliability disclosure, I would also avoid buying this drive secondhand. Lastly, we have the Ediloka ES106, priced at $20.99. Ediloka states read speeds up to 550 megabits per second, but lists conflicting data on write speeds. In the Amazon listing, it mentions 450 megabits per second, 
while their website suggests 500 megabits per second. Additionally, the warranty information is inconsistent with Amazon listing it as three years and the packaging stating a five-year warranty. Ataloka does specify an estimated mean time before failure of 1 million hours. Founded in 2018, they have been in business for six years. Based on these listing discrepancies alone, I'd hesitate to recommend purchasing this drive. If they can't ensure accuracy in their data and marketing, support may be unreliable. To gauge performance, I'm running disk speed tests with this Sabrent 3.0 hard drive enclosure. Since it's a USB 3.0 external drive, we won't achieve maximum possible speeds, but it should still give a solid benchmark. I'll start by testing on my Windows 11 laptop with Ease US Partitions disk speed test app. Then switch to my Mac Studio using Blackmagic disk speed test. Let's talk numbers. Today we're examining SSD performance to determine if spending more truly yields better quality and speed. Let's see how they stack up. First, looking at sequential read speeds, the Samsung 860 Evo leads with 456.64 megabits per second, closely followed by the Etaloka and Fengsheng SSDs both around 455 to 457 megabits per second. The budget-friendly Crucial MX500 comes in a bit lower with a read speed of 426 megabits per second. Next, in sequential read speeds, the Samsung 860 Evo again leads, hitting 460.22 megabits per second with the Crucial MX500 not far behind at 451 megabits per second. This shows that even budget SSDs can provide solid write speeds for large file transfers. In the random read and write tests, which demonstrates SSDs multitasking abilities, the Fengsheng SSD impressively takes the lead in random reads at 458.33 megabits per second slightly ahead of Samsung. However, Samsung maintains the top position in random writes at 461.66 megabits per second, showcasing consistent performance across categories. IOPS, or Input Output Operations Per Second, reveals each SSD's handling of multitasking. Samsung stands out here, with Etaloka and Fengsheng close behind, indicating that Samsung remains a top performer for tasks involving multiple smaller data chunks. So, does spending more give you better quality in SSDs? Based on these results, premium SSDs like the Samsung 860 Evo generally perform best across various metrics. However, budget options like the Crucial MX500 and Fengsheng still offer great value, especially if top tier performance isn't a necessity. Now, on to the Mac test results. The Samsung 860 Evo scored 447.3 megabits per second in read speeds and 406.4 megabits per second in write speeds. The Crucial MX500 achieved read-write speeds of 437.6 and 393.8 megabits per second. The Fengsheng S101 scored 437.1 megabits per second in reads and 393.6 megabits per second in writes. Lastly, the Etaloka ES106 recorded 436.1 megabits per second in read speeds and 394.3 megabits per second in writes. Similar to the Windows testing, the Samsung 860 Evo topped the charts, with the other drives delivering comparable results. After testing each SSD on both Windows and Mac setups, 
it's clear that spending a bit more can give you a performance boost, particularly in read and write speeds and reliability. The Samsung 860 Evo consistently outperformed the others, showing that a higher price tag often aligns with better performance and more reliable support. That said, both the Crucial MX500 and Fengsheng S101 delivered impressive results, particularly for their price points, and provide a lot of value if you don't need peak performance in every task. On the other hand, the Eteloka ES106, with its conflicting specifications and unclear warranty, left me a bit skeptical. Its lower price doesn't fully make up for the reliability concerns. If you're working with large files, gaming, or running applications that demand fast speeds, investing in a high quality SSD like the Samsung Evo is worth it for long-term benefits. However, if you're on a budget and mainly need storage for standard tasks, the Crucial MX500 and Fengsheng S101 offer solid performance without breaking the bank. To sum it all up, does more money mean better quality when it comes to SSDs? Generally speaking, yes. The premium Samsung 860 Evo stood out as the top performer, but budget options like the Crucial MX500 and Fengsheng S101 still provide impressive value for everyday use. I hope this comparison helps you make an informed choice for your storage needs. Let me know in the comments which SSD you'd go for. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more reviews and tech insights. Thanks for watching Circus Fair, and I'll see you in the next video.